Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today I wanna to share with you what I think might be the most budget friendly, or dare I say, the cheapest way to get into saddle hunting without doing any major DIY projects. Sure, if you wanna sew your own saddle, I'm sure you can save yourself some money, but if you're like me and you don't wanna trust your life to your sewing skills and you just wanna buy something from a reputable company that's already been tested, then I think today's product might be right for you. So what I've got here today is the XOP Renegade Saddle. Let me turn around so you can actually see the XOP Renegade Saddle and the XOP Edge platform. All right, so before I dive any deeper into these products, I do wanna give you a brief backstory about why I'm testing and showing you these two products today. So over the last couple of months, I've seen both of these products, particularly the Renegade Saddle, and I noticed that it came in at a super, super competitive price. And then recently, I was at the Great American Outdoor Show in Harrisburg, and XOP had a booth set up there. I went over and I thought, you know what, it's such a good price, I should go check out those two products. So I checked it out, sat in the saddle for just a minute or two, and was talking to the representative there. I happened to mention that I've got a YouTube channel called The Budget Sportsman, and that these products were appealing to me because of their competitive price, and they said, hey, we'll check out your channel and about a day or two later i got a message that said hey where can we send you some stuff we want to send it to you to, to check out so xop did send me these products to show you guys and the reason that i am excited about it is because of the price so xop sells these products at a price that is really competitive these days here you in this package you have the renegade saddle and it comes with all of the ropes and carabiners you need to get started they sell this saddle for 100 dollars. now if you've done any pricing on saddles you know that most saddles come in anywhere from 175 up to 250 dollars and they don't include ropes so getting a saddle for hundred dollars with all the ropes is a pretty good bargain in my other hand i have the xop edge saddle uh, excuse me, the saddle platform, and they normally sell this edge for $150, which is a competitive price, but the, what really makes this package special is that when you buy them together, you can buy both of these for $200. So at this point, you've got your platform, you've got your saddle, you've got your ropes. The only thing you need is some kind of a climbing method, whether that would be sticks, spurs, uh, whether you want to do some kind of DRT, SRT, whether you want to do one stick, you can add that on and whatever you choose, but you're getting really almost everything you need here for $200. Now notice when I started this video, I said this was the most budget friendly or the cheapest way to start saddle hunting. I did not necessarily say it was the best. Like a lot of things, you do kind of get what you pay for and there are some drawbacks to the system. But if you're the kind of guy that's on a really tight budget or maybe you're a little bit unsure about whether you really are gonna be into the saddle hunting thing, but you just want a lower risk way to try it out, then I think this system could be really good for you. Now the first drawback that I want to point out to you is weight. And I'm going to turn on my trusty dusty scales here and I'm going to hang on the platform, the saddle and the ropes. And when it levels out, it's coming in at 10.93 pounds. The platform on its own weighs just over six pounds. And the saddle with all the ropes is coming in right at 4.8 pounds. Now, for those of you who are a little bit unfamiliar with the weights of saddle gear, this is certainly a heavy, heavy setup. My personal saddle ropes and platform come in somewhere around the seven pound mark. So that's almost four pounds lighter than this system. So if you're on a budget, like I'm sure you are if you're looking at this system, you can add in something like Hawk Helium Sticks and they're gonna run you about another seven pounds for a three pack of Hawk Helium Sticks, maybe a little bit more. So with this system plus Hawk Sticks, you're gonna be coming in about 18 pounds. Keep in mind that you know a Summit Climber might be 21 pounds. So you're not saving a drastic amount of weight with this system over a climber, but there are a lot of other advantages to a saddle that this can still get you into that saddle world, allow you to take advantage of some of those other uh, advantages of saddle hunting without spending a ton of money, but you're just not gonna save as much weight as you would with some of the more expensive options on the market. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into these products a little bit more. This is really my first time. This is gonna be an initial impressions video. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with the edge platform a little bit. Now, just kind of my first impressions here. I did look at a little bit in the house, but uh, this is a beefy platform. Again, remember this weighs six pounds, but you can see all of the casting here 
is really large, really heavy. This is going to be really robust. I don't have any concerns about that at all. I expect it to be a pretty comfortable platform. It is a little bit wider and bigger than the Predator platform that I'm usually used to using. I'm going to guess, I've never used the Predator XL, but I'm going to guess this is going to be closer to the width of a Predator XL. So let me go ahead and put this on the tree and uh, get an idea of what it's like. All right, so first impressions of the Edge platform are actually pretty good. That weight is a drawback, but once you get it on the tree, it's built like a tank and is incredibly solid. If you've been watching the channel for a while, then you know that I like to have my platform angled down. So the first thing I did before I even put it on the tree was I moved out that leveling bolt and angled it down. Now, sometimes when you angle down the platform, it means that it doesn't quite bite into the tree as well, but in this case, that was not a problem, at least on this tree. It bit into the tree extremely well. I put a good bit of side pressure on it. It handled side pressure no problem. And I actually really think that I'm gonna like this platform. It's a lot bigger, there's a lot of real estate on it, and I can see that it would be very, very comfortable platform. Again, that weight's gonna be an issue for me, and so it's probably not gonna be my run and gun, you know, way out into public land kind of platform, but I'm definitely gonna hang on to this platform and be using it maybe on some private land for presets because it's gonna be a great, comfortable platform. Now, let's move on to the saddle. All right, next up, let's talk about the saddle. And other than a few minutes at the Sportsman Show, this is going to be my first time playing with this saddle and going to be my initial impression. So let's open it up, pull it out, and show you what you get. So the first thing you're gonna pull out of the package is three ropes with prussic knots and carabiners. You may say, why three? Well, this saddle is gonna use a lineman's belt and a tether like your typical saddle would, but it's also gonna use a rope for the bridge, which means you're gonna have a removable and adjustable bridge, but it is gonna use a heavier rope than most. One thing to point out is that these carabiners are all heavy steel carabiners. That's one of the reasons for the weight. So if you want to spend a little bit of money, you could shave some weight by moving to a good aluminum climbing rated carabiner. Now, the next thing out of the bag, and really the last thing out of the bag, is going to be the saddle itself. Now, when you pull it out of the bag, you're going to say, hmm, this doesn't look like a traditional saddle. And you would be right, and it brings me to the first pro and the first con, depending on how you look at it. So XOP made this saddle to be not only a saddle, but also a tree stand safety harness. Now to me, if you're a guy that's not quite sure that you're sold on saddle hunting, and maybe uh, you think you might want to go back to a tree stand, or you just want to use a saddle in some situations and a tree stand in other situations, then this saddle might be right for you because one product will be both your tree stand uh, safety harness and your saddle. But it also brings me to the con, and that is this feels a lot like when you pull it out of the package, a lot like kind of a cheap safety harness that you would get with a tree stand that just ends up being a tangled mess of straps. There's a lot going on here. So let me try to kind of decode all of this, get it put on, get in the tree, and tell you what I think. Well, I got the saddle put on, and actually it wasn't as difficult as I expected. This clip right here at my chest was clipped together. I just had to unclip it, slip these shoulder straps over my shoulders, and then from there, everything was pretty self-explanatory. There are four leg straps on this, two on each side. It's a little bit different than you're used to, but they were very self-explanatory about where they go. You can't really get them switched up. And so it really wasn't as difficult as I thought to put on. So let's go ahead and climb in the tree and I'll give you kind of my impressions of what it's like in the tree. All right, so now that I'm up on the platform in the saddle, let me give you my initial impressions of the saddle itself. Now, let me be clear, initial impressions with saddles are always a little bit deceiving because it takes some time with any saddle to kind of dial in the exact settings and the exact positioning of your ropes and your bridge and everything that's comfortable for you. Now, one of the things for me that's making this saddle be a little bit hard to get comfortable is that there's no way to adjust from top to bottom on the bridge loops, like on so many other saddles out there. In fact, most saddles on the market now have the ability to adjust where your bridge connects to the saddle from top to bottom on these bridge loops. That changes the pressure from top to bottom. This saddle does not have that ability. Pretty much on this side where you have your carabiner, it's just gonna do whatever it wants to do and pretty much just find middle. For me, that's making it a little bit difficult to find the sweet comfort spot. Now I have played around a little bit with my tether height and that has helped somewhat to kind of find the right setting of the way it's pulling on my body, but I'm still not quite 
there yet. And I think before I would go out and spend a couple hours hunting, I would have to have a few more practice sessions in the yard. Another thing to be aware of is you do have this big dangly rope back here. Now, if you're never going to hunt out of a tree stand, this thing is just going to be a nuisance and be a pain. But like I mentioned earlier, if you do want to use this as a tree stand safety harness, you've already got a tether. It's got a shock cord built into it. And so you've got your tether right there that comes out the back if you want to hunt, hunt from a tree stand. If you've ever been like me and maybe been in your saddle and decided to go hunt out of a tree stand, and then you have a rope coming out the front and over your shoulder, probably not the safest and best idea. This is going to be a great solution for a multi-purpose piece of gear. All right, so what are my conclusions on the XOP Renegade saddle and the Edge platform? Well, like I said earlier, I'm not gonna try to tell you that this is the best system on the market. I'm not gonna try to tell you it's the most comfortable system on the market. But what I can tell you is that it's probably the cheapest way to get out there and get started into saddle hunting. If you are on an extremely tight budget and you're just looking for something to get you out into the woods, then this might be a good solution for you. If you're not sure you want to drop a huge chunk of change on saddle hunting because you're not sure that saddle hunting is really for you, then this is a great way to get out there and try it out. If you go frequently from tree stand hunting to saddle hunting and back and forth again, then this might be a great solution for you to have one piece of gear that works in both situations. Again, just keep in mind that there are two major drawbacks. One is that this is an incredibly heavy system, or I should say significantly heavier than a lot of other options on the market. And the second drawback is, I just don't think that even with some fiddling that I'm ever gonna quite get, get this saddle to be as comfortable as a lot of other saddles that I've hunted from. Is it the least comfortable saddle I've ever tried? No, nor is it the most comfortable. So again, the big advantage and the highlight of this whole video is that this is an extremely budget-friendly way to get out there and enjoy hunting from a saddle. Let me know what you think. I hope this video helps you make an informed buying decision. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.